నమస్తే అండ్ వెల్కమ్ టు యోగా థెరపీ పార్ట్ టూ అండ్ ఇన్ దిస్ సెషన్స్ వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు స్పీక్ అండ్ ప్రాక్టీస్ అబౌట్ బ్యాక్ కంప్లీట్లీ స్పైనల్ హెల్త్ అండ్ సో దిస్ ఇస్ దిస్ ఎపిసోడ్ కెన్ బీ కాల్డ్ యాజ్ యోగా ఫర్ స్పైనల్ హెల్త్ కమింగ్ స్ట్రైట్ టు ద పాయింట్ దెర్ ఆర్ త్రీ పోర్షన్స్ ఆఫ్ యువర్ బ్యాక్ వన్ ఈజ్ ద టాప్ పోర్షన్ ద సెకండ్ ఈజ్ మిడిల్ అండ్ ద లోవర్ so the top portion is called the cervical spine and the mid portion is called the thoracic spine and the lower portion is called the lumbar spine for the health of the spine to be all the time healthy fit you need to open the body in the directions it asks for generally the body asks for deep stretches when we are concentrated into particular set of exercises remember when you get up in the morning body tends to ask to nicely stretch the upper body ignoring this kind of urges can lead to collapse of the back so the major reason why therapeutic yoga it is called therapeutic yoga is we always ignore what our body is asking for let's not ignore what our body is asking for now keeping this in mind you have to follow all the fundamentals of maintaining the human body like eating appropriately not too much not too less eating according to the need not according to the greed of the tongue your tongue says to eat taste consume more and more but you have to listen to that so when you eat more and more entire energy entire oxygen levels are used just to digest the food and distribute the food but not to maintain the health so earlier to my experience personally when i am eating so much brain tend to think very dull and there are no positive thoughts there are no constructive thoughts brain tends to work low because most of the time the brain works on digesting the food distributing the food to the body and taking rest so that's why those who eat tends to sleep more so i suggest to eat less in multiple times according to the hunger just feed the hunger don't stuff the hunger this can help you keep the metabolism high and the body movements free second thing is when you are eating clean the body with water properly hydrate yourself all the time not while you are eating but before eating and after eating and there should be a time gap between before eating the food and after eating the food so these are the fundamentals to keep your body healthy in every episode i will keep reminding you about these things because these are the fundamentals of keeping your body healthy if you don't follow the fundamentals and just look for direct answers this cannot give you enough health so enough health means your body should be able to perform what you ask for your body should rest according to what you ask for the second thing and the most important thing is that you have to stretch your body with proper breathing breathe properly first earth element that is food second water element that is drinking third breathing so from harder elements to lighter elements you have to manage the body from day to day basis once you start breathing and moving the earth element which is your body bones blood and all the other organs they will tend to remain in order and detoxification happens timely so when you stretch the body enough defecation urination everything happens properly so with proper excretion resting and movement body stays healthy that's why you should keep on moving from time to time when the body needs so when you are sitting don't try to slouch sit straight and the spine is corrected naturally if you keep on instructing your body to sit straight your spine will definitely sit straight and stay straight and it remains its health so remember my dear friends there is one more important aspect of spinal health most of the body is connected to the 90% of the body is connected to the 
spine the rib cage is connected to the spine the legs are connected to the spine major amount of muscle mass upper body is muscle masses connect to the spine and the lower limb body is also connected so having this so much connection towards different organs different body spine takes a lot of load so there is a cartilage between each and every disc and you have to maintain the health of the spine each and every disc has to be lubricated and moved properly in the right direction there are three types of problems that you experience with spine scoliosis lordosis and kyphosis so it is the deformation or it is the moving of the spine into one direction and it keeps staying there for a longer period of time and it deteriorates the health of the spine it is a lifestyle disorder as well and for some people it is a basic problem sometimes it causes through genetic disorders also sometimes it causes through accidents also so if this can be helped by following the initial three practices of maintaining your earth water air and the fire element the fire element which is the fourth one fire element is the spirit the hunger and the activity that you keep ingesting into all these three levels of elements so space is always maintained properly if you maintain all the other four elements so if all the five elements are maintained the entire health of the spine is maintained so if the spinal health is proper your brain and other body functions remains very healthy why because spine carries a lot of cables like the cables of for your computer the cables for your entire house electricity so major information transfer from all parts of the body to the brain and from brain to all parts of the body is covered with peripheral and the central nervous system peripheral is the organs which are in the periphery central nervous system is at connection with the organs as well as the head and the spine so this is called central nervous system and this is peripheral legs hands and all the other organs like toes fingers comes into peripheral nervous system both has to work integratedly for that spine is very needed to maintain good spinal health you have to practice these things now in this episode we will talk about chronic lower back pain let's start with lumbar spine which is connection to the lower body as well as the upper body if you don't maintain a strong core which is this region and the connection towards upper body and lower body you tend to lean forward slouch forward go back or push if you have a big stomach you will have definitely lower back for that you have to start functioning on easing the spine so there are certain exercises let's start with them take a deep breath sit or stand whichever the weight is comfortable for you if you are standing that is amazing if you are sitting then these are certain practices that you can do and these practices can be done standing also so let's relieve the upper back to function on the lower back so there are three degrees of practice for releasing the shoulders and upper back so to release the upper back means to create fluidity and mobility for the lower back to move if this is congested you cannot move because movement starts from the signal of the brain to each and every body it transfers from one area to another area so you need to ease the upper body so after i would like to remind you that in yoga a deep communion there are basic warm ups and hard warm ups sukshma vyayama and katina vyayama I recommend please practice by watching episode 2 sukshma vyayama and if you are very well uh, versed with sukshma vyayama you can also practice katina vyayama before practicing this please practice sukshma vyayama it is very important to practice these sukshma vyayama before this exercises which are mentioned for chronic lower back pain so let's begin my dear friends and start now interlock your fingers sit straight with 
keeping your head neck and back straight pull the body upwards by lifting the chest up and the spine up and keep your head straight now interlock your fingers and place your hands here now here on the chest now inhale slowly breathe in raise your arms up and stretch the palms into the sky and stretch as much as possible by elongating the spine now breathe in and lift more and more up and hold there for 5 to 10 counts let's start with me 1 2 3 4 and 5 6 7 8 keep elongating 9 and 10 and now while exhaling you bring them down again inhale elongate 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 10 slowly release third time breathe in lift up and pull the wrists upwards and press the palm up into the sky by pressing the feet into the ground and elongating the spine this is how you open the entire spine this is more than enough for everybody who has having back pain and for beginners also if you keep doing this most of your body postures will be corrected okay come 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 now slowly really once you are released try to free your shoulders because you have put enough strain on the shoulders you have to release them keep breathing and releasing close your eyes and do it keep breathing and release now my dear friends there are three angles that we have to stretch the body one is the 90 degrees angle we first did and the second is 135 degrees angle which is exactly inclined half way above the shoulders so what you have to do is bring your interlock your fingers nicely bring it on the to the chest breathe in and look towards your wrists and the interlock fingers and stretch the shoulders as much as possible exhale bring them down inhale stretch the shoulders and arms and exhale bring them down again inhale and bring them down inhale stretch 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 and bring them down two more inhale stretch and bring them down inhale stretch and bring them down now after completion relax the shoulders close your eyes breathe and move the shoulders once you're done with 135 degrees relax the shoulders and slouch the back a little bit and breathe in come up and lift the chest up squeeze the belly in now interlock the fingers and keep them on the chest now this is 180 degree stretch 180 degree stretch is completely when you see a protractor it is completely parallel to the ground or horizontal to the ground so what you have to do is you have to do a horizontal stretch with the shoulders now interlock your fingers take a deep breath and inhale exhale prepare yourself then inhale exhale stretch again inhale exhale stretch inhale exhale stretch again inhale exhale stretch again inhale exhale stretch now 
after completion of five sets once you inhale here and exhale stretch and inhale here exhale stretch so both the front side of the lungs and the back side of the lungs are stretched and open perfectly so the movement on the front side the movement on the dorsal side or the ventral side are stretched properly now when you are stretching horizontally inhale and keeping the hands here and exhale now remember my dear friends you have to make your lungs both on the dorsal side and the ventral side completely ventilated and oxygenated properly so in one set of 10 repetitions do five sets of ventral breathing and five sets of dorsal breathing so that you can keep the lungs completely ventilated so this is it now now let's finish with the five more repetitions now inhale stretch exhale bring back now inhale exhale stretch inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale now with this repetitions we complete all 90 degrees 135 and 180 degree stretch of the shoulders now you will automatically feel upper body and upper spine which is the cervical spine which is properly ventilated and expanded now let's go to lower body this set of practice is hands in this set of practice is called hands in and out breathing let's start with 10 repetitions now bring your hands bring your palms closer horizontally to the floor from your shoulders now breathe in open your chest nicely as much as possible and breathe out close breathe in breathe out three breathe in breathe out if possible open the fingers widely breathe in breathe out five breathe in breathe out six breathe in breathe out seven breathe in breathe out eight breathe in breathe out nine breathe in breathe out ten now now let's go to lower back release now slowly lie down by turning and touching the entire spine on the ground slowly slouch the back and step by step release the lower back from lumbar spine thoracic spine and the cervical spine now what you have to do is stretch the legs from the point of heels take a deep breath inhale raise your arms up and stretch the entire spine and stretch the toes forward completely breathe out now breathe in and relax the body and come back to position breathe in and breathe out slowly lift the right leg which is folded at the knees and exhale keep the leg stretched and you also follow it with other leg take a deep breath and release the lower back again inhale exhale put it down now inhale exhale release the lower back inhale keep it on the ground inhale exhale inhale put it back on the ground inhale exhale squeeze and release the lower back now my dear friends now slowly bring your hands down and try to understand that when you are inhaling 
you are lifting the lungs up and pulling the upper portion of the spine upwards and when you are exhaling and you have to twist lower back or the tailbone outside so this direction and slowly release the entire spine outside and bring the knees closer to the chest and release the breath keep breathing this way the lower back is released and the pain is relieved breathe in and breathe out breathe in and breathe out my dear friends remember to go according to your comfort don't overpress your knees and hug your knees this way as this is therapeutic you should not do this now slowly always keep the mind this is the position entirely touch the spine and tilt the tailbone up upwards and outwards and bring the knees little closer according to the release while you are releasing try to exhale completely out of the stomach now with the two legs you have to do it and this is the fourth set of the practice now inhale open exhale close if you want to stretch a little more and can stretch a little more open inhale bring the legs forward and exhale slowly step by step bring the legs and squeeze the stomach this in turn you will feel so much goodness in the stretch of lower back now breathe in and breathe out breathe in breathe out breathe in and breathe out breathe in and breathe out one more repetition breathe in and breathe out now my dear friends and the fifth set is pavana muktasana series pavana muktasana is wind releasing be even because of a release of vata from the abdominal region you will feel the release in lower back pain see remember like when you are doing a long journey so you will feel like the stomach is bloated and once the once you get down and release the gas out of uh, out through the once you get down from the vehicle and release the gas you will feel so much release in the lower back also and you will feel so much goodness in your you know being as a whole so for that if you do regularly pavana muktasana you won't experience such kind of things now let's start doing this now bring one leg closer to the chest by exhaling and extend the other leg so that the hip will be open and the entire hip region will be relaxed now slowly release and take the other leg outside and stretch this leg outside and take the right leg breathe in and breathe out let's do five repetitions breathe in and breathe out 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 one more time breathe in and breathe out breathe in and breathe out once you are done with five five repetitions on the left leg as well as right leg your five sets are completed now when it comes to the sixth set of the practice this is called setu bandhasana practice is called bridge pose my dear friends bridge pose is very important bringing your heels closer to the buttock with straightened feet now bring your hands down and completely relaxed adjacent to the feet now my dear friends go according to your comfort breathe in slowly lift the hip up and breathe out to bring it down while taking it up squeeze the buttock squeeze the gluteus muscles now breathe in and breathe out okay 
Breathe in. Breathe out. 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 One more time. Breathe in. Breathe out. Once you are done with this, slowly turn to the left side and after Setu Bandhasana stretch, we will do upper back dorsal stretch. Dorsal means the upper body is in back side. So how you do it? Dorsal stretch is just lift the upper body up and stay there for at least 30 seconds to 1 minute to stretch the spine upwards towards the cervix. So this is how it would be. Now when you lie down on the back and let your head rest nice and easy and slowly keep your legs closer to the buttocks and a little folded and adjust yourself. Once the lower back is settled, relax, relax and open the back. Now place your hands behind your head and interlock the fingers and bring the elbows closer to each other and while in exhalation come up and hold the breath. And stay in that stretch. Now once you are settled in this position, keep breathing naturally and stretch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Now repeat this practice every twenty sets for five times so that you will heal the entire spine. Now again, do it with me. Lift, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now while inhaling, go down. Exhale again, come up. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Inhale, go down. Exhale, come up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. One more time. Take a deep breath. If you feel comfortable while you are practicing, uh, the comfort of your practice defines curing or healing of your lower back. Take as much comfort as possible to heal the back why I am saying that comfort is needed is because too much compression or too much aggression in your practice may lead to more injuries or improper pressure on the discs which are already injured. So be careful and be do it at your own comfort. Now slowly lift and stay there for 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now while inhaling, come down and relax and release the pose. Now once you are done with this pose, slowly turn to the left side and come up. 
now after this practice what you can do is do tiger breathing with an alternative hand and leg stretch this is how it is going to be now come into cat cow position or a table top position with index finger thumb finger parallel to each other knees maintaining the hip distance and breathe in look up breathe out da breathe in look up breathe out da now once you feel fluidified in the spine lean forward on to the hands and take your left hand keep it at the chest level and maintain your body weight between right palm and the left knee now with inhalation ex inhale open and push the heels out and the toe out once the heel is pushed out then next toes out and just look downwards and breathe for five breaths one two three four and five now slowly release and bring them with grace grace is very important for the healing and in regular process of practicing yoga grace is absolutely needed for gentle treatment towards your body by yourself now with the right hand and the left leg now inhale open and stretch the heel first and balance your position elongate the right hand and stretch the left leg to and look downwards and press your hand into the floor breathe one two three four and five once you are done slowly and gently with grace come to and relax the hands as there is too much weight on the body just warm up the back now inhale look up exhale look down breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out now slowly come into balasana child pose for stretching the entire lower back to upper back for elongation of the spine and this will relax the lower back nice and easy if there is possibility nicely stretch the toes and elongate the lower back and touch the forehead to the floor if you feel there is an extreme discomfort what you can do is you can place a pillow under the head and go according to the comfort okay or else keep the hands and place your head keep breathing my my friends continuously breathe and breathe out breathing in and breathe out naturally increases the movements of the body from the inside and it adds so much suppleness towards muscular movements now slowly if possible take the hands back and come into shashankasana it's called rabbit pose breathe in and breathe out breathe in and breathe out breathe in and breathe out now slowly come up and move forward by placing your hands exactly under the shoulders lean forward and slowly keep the back down by opening the shoulders and come down and touch the forehead to the floor okay. and join the feet toes and knees together don't put too much pressure on the lower back now slowly come into bhujangasana with elbows closer to each other and inhale gently elongate the chin and come up and put some pressure gentle pressure into the body and pull the shoulders back and look up breathe and slowly go down now this when this is the pose you also have to maintain a counter pose to release the compression that is formed in the lower back so what you do is put some pressure on the knee 
inhale come up and slowly exhale separate the knees and go into balasana child pose in exhalation you can repeat this practice from 3 to 5 times my dear friends now after coming from balasana into vajrasana then slowly move forward into chaturanga dandasana chaturanga dandasana will help you to strengthen the core this is easy chaturanga dandasana so stay here if possible slowly bring the elbows towards the chest and slowly put your drop your weight into the floor then slowly touch the hips and go into bhujangasana inhale come up and exhale touch the floor now from here extend the chin forward the join the feet and take the hands with palms facing upwards now my dear friends remember to do each and every asana in repetitions starting from 5 repetitions to 10 repetitions now we will go into locust pose which is called shalabhasana now lift the toes up and thighs up and place your palms as the support system under the thighs to lift the legs now once you are settled in this pose in an exhalation while exhaling you will feel that entire shoulders chest hands stomach thighs everything is touched onto the floor and support is maintained now breathe in raise your right leg up to a level where you feel comfort inhale exhale do it alternatively inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale left leg inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale exhale now once you are done slowly release the hands and place your forehead onto the floor and rest so that the cervical spine will be released and the pain will be removed and you can also place the hands under the forehead and feel relaxed dear friends breath is the key to healing because the more amount of cellular detoxification is done with exchange of oxygen with other gases inside the body that are produced with our metabolic processes constantly breathe in and breathe out engage yourself in being with yourself because healing starts with intention to heal and commitment to heal so ground yourself in the sadhana try to complete this practice in each item with 10 repetitions and slowly place your hands at center of your chest and inhale with the toes together heels together come up and go into child's pose and slowly come up this is how you need to end your practice and maintain shavasana after every practice because therapy is all about healing the more rest you will get while you are practicing makes a lot of difference in healing and healing rate of healing increases thank you for practicing with me my dear friends and see you in the next episode of therapeutic yoga and stay healthy and keep meditating and keep growing namaste